In some cases, users may want guidance for running a test, or lab managers may want to follow a specific procedure to prevent operator error. A prompted test can be configured by going into the Method tab and turning on Prompted Test. By enabling Prompted Test, a user can create a workflow that the system operator must follow until finishing testing. Here is a list of some of the options that can be configured as part of Prompted Test. Create a sequence. Here you would define parameters such as required number of specimens to be tested and the necessary steps in the workflow. Start sample. This is where the operator would enter information before starting a new sample, such as lot number or lab conditions. Before test is where users would enter information like specimen dimensions, specimen ID, and instructions for properly placing the specimen in the load string. Additionally, you can add a picture file to visually guide users on proper test setup, preventing issues such as specimen misalignment. Before analysis is used when calculations require information from the operator, such as using the cursor select to identify points on the graph or the failure mode of the specimen. Test notes is where the operator could add any additional notes about the test. The finish prompt automatically appears when the required number of specimens are tested. It will prompt the user to add any additional information about the sample or alter export settings such as folder location and file name. Now let's go through to view what the operator would see during a test. Prompted test is ideal for quality control professionals who are responsible for collecting accurate and reproducible data and results. Prompted test can offer peace of mind for a lab manager as it can reduce human error and ensure all data is collected in a consistent manner.